After the success of last year when the Rose Lady series kept female pros competing in incredibly difficult circumstances, it's back in 2021 with more events and an even bigger prize fund. Welcome to glorious West Lancashire Golf Club for the first of 11 events on the 2021 Rose Ladies Series. It was Liz Young's brainchild and Justin and Kate Rose have taken it to the next level with a fantastic series of events. The players cannot wait to get started. It's so important for us girls, you know, we're, we're competing against people that are playing a lot. Um, Justin and Kate have done such a good job last year um, in such unprecedented times. They kept us playing, kept us sort of a purpose to our practice and getting up in the day and stuff like that. So it brings back great memories of that and we're forever thankful. I mean, they're great events as well and the fields are always really strong. So I think it's great competition and I'm really looking forward to getting going. The series wouldn't exist if Liz Young hadn't created an event last year. That was the catalyst for what Kate and Justin Rose have created. That was always my dream, not just to have one series, but to grow it and have it for the next year, and we're finally here. We've got great courses again this year, and it is important. We, we want to test ourselves week in, week out, and to play on these fantastic courses, championship courses, is, is just fantastic. There will be a variety of course styles throughout the series, but West Lanks will provide a stern links test. We don't get much chance to play Lynx golf um, as pros anymore, to be honest. So I really enjoyed the challenge and the different shots that maybe I haven't had to play in a while and things like that. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what today brings and getting creative out there. You've just got to control your ball flight, really. Um, I think kind of numbers sometimes go out the window on Lynx golf. I think you just have to kind of see the shot and keep it under the wind really around here. If the wind gets up, if you get under par here today, you've done a really good job, I think. Each tournament is just one round, which provides a different dynamic to the longer three and four day events the ladies are more accustomed to. 18 holes is a bit of a shootout in, in golfing terms. So yeah, I mean, you've got to go for stuff, you've, um, but obviously as well, you know, I think there could be some, with this wind up, I think it could get quite tricky out there. So not too crazy. On the tee, Keeley Cherry Carto. Keeley had the honour of hitting the opening tee shot of the 2021 Rose Ladies series. Liz Young, who finished third in last year's standings, had this for birdie on the par five second. It took just enough of the break there, and she also made a two on the par three sixth to get off to a fast start this year. This was Michelle Thompson's third shot on the same hole and a beautiful pitch set up a tap in for birdie. It was the start of a superb run. She picked up another shot on the third to move under par, and more birdies followed at the fourth and fifth before a bogey on the ninth saw her out in 34 and setting the early pace. 26-year-old Gemma Clues made a very tidy par save at the 156-yard third hole. It was an extremely steady front half. She made a run of nine pars on the trot. Back to the second now, and the Australian Whitney Hillier. She had this long one and drained an absolute monster putt for her birdie. No wonder she was smiling after that magnificent effort. England's Rachel Drummond, she finished ninth in last year's grand final. She parred the opening hole and picked up a stroke courtesy of this confident putt at the first of the par fives. Thompson and Young have made the first moves as they sit at two under par through 11 and six holes respectively. Gemma Clues got off the par train with a birdie on 10, but gave it straight back on the 11th. Out onto the course now with Rosie Davis. She's one over par on the sixth tee. That's an absolutely fabulous shot there. Would have looked right at it from the tee. There's Sophie Lamb in the background coming out of the fairway bunker. The bunkers around here at West Lanks are not to be messed with, but she's made a really good job of that. 
Anytime you've got a birdie putt after visiting the sand here is a big, big bonus. Playing alongside Sophie and Annabelle Dimmock is Dulcie Sverdloff. She's going along fantastically at level par. This is the approach on seven. That's an absolutely super shot. Wonderful control of the spin there. First look at Becky Brewerton for birdie here on the short sixth. Just a little shy of pace and it doesn't quite drop, but a stress-free tap in for three keeps her at level par. You can see the wind is really starting to pick up and some of the best men's players in the world will be facing these conditions when West Lanx hosts regional and final qualifying for the Open Championship later this year. Sophie Lamb, we saw the excellent approach. This is for the birdie. Not quite to be for the 2017 low amateur at the AIG Women's Open. Back to Rosie Davies. Let's see if she can convert the birdie putt here on six. She had a couple of tied 13ths last year, looking to improve on that, and that will go a long way to doing it. Level par is extremely competitive in these tricky conditions. Sverdlov now. Oh, judge the break really well. Very subtle and fast, these greens here at West Lanx, but that proved no trouble at all. She's keen to crack on after getting to one under par, and why not? Lamb made her par on six, and it's Thompson who continues to set the pace at two under. Becky Brewerton is level par through six. Sarah Jane Boyd was three over as she boarded the 12th tee. But this stunning shot would set up a birdie to move her just outside the top 10. Lovely stuff from the Cornish girl who didn't start playing golf until she was 13 years old. Lauren Horsford was working hard to repair the damage from seven bogeys on her front nine. The 24 year old holed out from a bunker to get a shot back on the 11th and produced the best tee shot of the day on the 12th for back to back birdies just inches away from a hole in one. Back now to the fifth, where Georgina Blackman bounced back from drop shots at the first and third with this birdie. The 2018 English Women's Amateur Champion would go out in 39 strokes. And what about our early pace setter, Michelle Thompson? Well, she let shots slip away at the 13th and 16th holes but that was her birdie try on 18, not to be for the Abedonian, who was part of the winning team at last year's Saudi Ladies Team International, but she signed for an impressive 72. Three-time Ladies European Tour winner Becky Brewerton hit this excellent approach into the 399-yard ninth. She would convert that opportunity to turn in one under par. But the player who really made an impact on the leaderboard was 25-year-old Gabriella Cowley. A run of four birdies in seven holes from the fourth, including a chip-in on the eighth, got her to three under par. That burst has given her a two-shot lead, while Thompson and Clues have posted level par 72s in the clubhouse. That's the target to chase. West Lanx has a beautiful selection of par threes, but the one that really stands out for me is the 12th. You can see it behind me. Those two bunkers there, they are scary. Any errant tee shots that end up in there and you've got a lot of work to get up and down. That pin is tucked away on the back right from the tee. Doesn't look like there's much to aim for, so it's gonna take a very brave shot to get it back there at 170 yards. One thing the players will have to be wary of, back down there on the tee, it's very sheltered, but if that breeze gets up, club selection will be vital. Straight back to Cowley on the 12th tee then. Let's see if she has picked the correct club. Her father, Carl, is on the bag, so hopefully he's given her some good advice for this one. Good strike, she looks pretty happy with it as well. 
and every right to be. She's fired that right at the pin. That has set up a wonderful chance to extend her lead. Good clubbing from Dad. Here's Rachel Drummond now. She quit the game in 2018, but she's back playing now and playing well. A little bit of work to do to save her par, but that is a lovely touch. Won't be much work with that putter. Georgina Blackman, birdie putt to get to three over. Very nicely done indeed. And with holes left to play, she's still well in contention here. Right, what have you got, Gabs Cowley? Oh, it just lacked a little bit of pace. And you can see she's mystified by that bit of break, but that's what these West Lanx greens can do. Very subtle and very quick here, even early in the season. Cowley is still the one to catch, despite that missed opportunity on 12. But a bogey for Sverdlov at the 13th has seen her slide into that pack at even par. Smooth sailing so far for Cowley. So Cowley ahead at West Lanks, but there are plenty of players vying for the first Rose Lady Series title of the year. After going out in level par, Sophie Lamb had one birdie and three bogeys on the back nine, including one here at the final hole after her tee shot found the water. She chased a good shot onto the front of the green after a drop, but had to settle for a closing five. She will be encouraged, though, by a top 10 finish this week. Back to the 528 yard par 5 16th, and Blackman continued her positive momentum. The left hander judged the subtle breaks perfectly to make four and get back to two over par. Becky Morgan has 18 top 10s on the LPGA Tour and secured her first LET title at the Hero Women's Indian Open in 2018. She showed her pedigree with this gutsy pass over 18 for a round of 73. She looks very pleased with that score in tough conditions. Fellow Welsh woman Brewerton bogeyed 15 and parred 16 before finding the putting surface at the par 3 17th. She'd tap in for the par at a tricky hole, but a dropped shot at the last meant she signed for a 73. Problems though for the leader, Cowley got herself into trouble at the 363 yard 13th and had this lengthy try to save par. Obvious frustrations for the leader as she fell to minus two. She would par the 14th before facing this 20 footer to avoid dropping two shots in three holes. The 25-year-old would hold that one coming back for bogey at 15, and her lead was down to one shot with three holes to play. Cowley's drop shots have made this really interesting now. She's down to a single strokes advantage. Clues and Thompson might want to head for the driving range as the potential for a playoff has increased significantly. And another girl in with a great chance is Chloe Williams. She's greenside in two. This is an eagle putt at the 16th. Just coming up a little shy. You can see Gabs Cowley moving in behind her there as well. They're playing together. Bit of a match play situation potentially developing here out on the course. What did Cowley learn from that effort from her playing partner? Well, she got it to the hole, but that one's just slid by. Williams to finish it off. She's back to level par and now just a shot behind with a couple of holes to play. She finished runner up to Cowley at JCB Golf and Country Club last year. So she's really wanting to reverse that over the last couple of holes at West Lanx. This should just be a formality for Cowley though. Lovely bounce back there. That'll put a spring in her step 
as she heads to the 17th tee. An up and down back nine for Cowley, but she's restored her two shot advantage on the clubhouse lead. Williams is within striking distance with a couple of holes still to play. And we join Williams on the 17th tee. She has the honor, can really put the pressure on Cowley here if she knocks this one in tight. Oh, but that's a good club short, maybe two clubs. And that really opens the door for Cowley. Mike Dean there in the background, the Premier League referee on caddy duty this week. She looks pretty happy with the shot, staring it down. And every reason to be happy. It's just going to creep off the back edge, but at this stage in proceedings, she will certainly take that. Mittens on there for Williams. You can see it's chilly. We catch up now with Rachel Drummond on 18. She's in the greenside bunker. And up and down here would go a long way to securing a top five finish. And that is absolutely sublime. Very impressive stuff indeed from the Englishwoman. Williams now, can she recover from that poor tee shot? There's a little shoulder she's coming over here, just where that bunker impinges on the green. She's judged it pretty well, but she has work to do to save that par. She's not looking too happy with herself, but she's still right in this tournament. Blackman for birdie on 18. The 25-year-old only turned pro last year, but if this one drops, it will be a very nice start to her season in 2021. She gave it a chance, but that will just wander on by. You can see the wind starting to get up, so anything can happen on these closing couple of holes for our leaders. Cowley for birdie. Well, that one's just got away from her a little bit. She'd have been wanting a nice stress-free tap in par at the very least, but she has not got it and she does not look happy. Blackman now to close out her round of 74, hopefully here. That's very nice indeed. That will get her in the top 10. That's a really positive start to the year for her. Back for the par save with Chloe Williams. This could put a little bit of pressure on that par putt that Cowley's yet to face. Oh, and she rams it in, fantastic stuff. She is not going away. Very determined walk there. Can Cowley follow her in and take that two shot lead onto the 18th tee? Oh, she can't, she was up and out of that very quickly. So just a one-shot lead from her playing partner, Chloe Williams, as we go to the 18th. And of course, already two ladies in the clubhouse on level par. Drummond to finish off. One over par is a very good round. Tough West Lanks today, playing very difficult. Oh, that is a very disappointing finish. You'll want to forget that one pretty quickly on the drive home. Swashbuckling swing from Gabs Cowley up the 18th, picking up the tee pretty quickly. She looks happy with it. We'll find out where that tee shot ended up, but just a reminder, Gabs Cowley, one shot lead going up the 18th. And here it is. It's a little bit down the left, but with that water feature over on the right, a very safe play under the circumstances. Oh, wow. That is a wonderfully judged approach shot. 
And that sets up a birdie putt of no more than eight feet on the final green. That should seal the deal and secure what would be her second Rose Lady Series win. Williams has been in trouble down the 18th. Her fourth shot here from right of the green side bunker, so some way out with that approach shot. It's got a firm first bounce and that's not stopped just yet. That is a good 12 feet she now faces for her bogey. Come on, Chloe Williams, your good play up to this point deserves it. Oh, that looked left straight off the club face. Didn't do her any favours, and she's not in the hole just yet either. Cowley for the closing birdie on 18. She's got two putts for it, but let's finish on a high. Not quite to be that dream closing birdie for Cowley, but that won't bother her too much. She looks a little bit rueful about that missed one, but it's still a 71, a fantastic round in those blustery conditions and well earning of a pat on the back from Father Carl on the back as well. Williams, unfortunately, for double bogey. Oh, no. Oh, you hate to see that, but that seven means she slides right off the leaderboard and into 15th spot. I wonder if Dad will be getting a cut of that winner's check. They made a great team out there today. And there's the trophy she will be taking home. Absolutely beautiful. An image of the course there. And that's the final leaderboard. Gabriella Cowley's one under par 71 was enough to claim the trophy and that £10,000 winner's check. Clues and Thompson had to settle for a tie for second. The lady captain of West Lanx, Jane Hughes, presented Cowley with her prize. It was a victory that was secured with a vital closing par on the tough 18th hole. I hit um, a really good drive, to be honest. I was aiming it down the left side to take the bunkers out. Um, I think I had 160. It was in between eight and nine, but I kind of said to my dad that I'd rather hit like a full shot and hit a full nine. And I hit it really good straight down the field. <laughs> it's a great uh, start to the season for me. Um, I've worked extremely hard uh, through the last few months. Um, so to come out with the win at the first event uh, means a lot to me and my team. Thanks for joining us here at West Lanx. Congratulations to our champion, Gabs Cowley, and we will see you next week from Woburn.